Okay, so here's my idea. I'm uh, hanging out with, with all these Thai kids, and um, a few extra dollars goes a long way in many of these families. So, learning English predicts roughly a doubling of income. Somewhere between 20% on the very low end to 2 or 300% on the high end, roughly a doubling of income. So what's going to do it? TV, iPhone, phone knockoffs, etc. are uh, all about, well, they're there. So here's my idea for an app that could help a child in just about any language to learn the rudiments of English. So first of all, we need animation, we need graphics. And one of the things that I've learned in my effort to learn Thai is that when you learn a language at the same time that you're learning how to spell the language, you learn it faster for this reason. Uh, the, I think it's fitting that in the serendipity of looking for a little peace, I find myself at the temple of uh, my hostess here at this Tiran Ahan, uh, or restaurant, uh, a temple of abundance. Um, and in Thailand, it's, it's quite common to uh, offer gifts, to offer gifts in order to facilitate abundance. And I think it's absolutely beautiful and dead on. You want to create abundance. Abundance is taking something out of nothing and bringing it into reality. And so what better way to orchestrate that pattern, to learn that pattern, than to feed and give that which doesn't exist, one's hopes, one's dreams, one's wishes, one's desires, and tend them and honor them, evoke them into existence. It's absolutely beautiful. But back to this language app. So here's, here's what I see. Because first of all, it needs to engage kids at a young age. So we need to gamify the language learning. We need to engage the child. Uh, and so imagine a tiger coming on screen and roaring. And the English word for tiger is there at the same time as an overlay of script is there. So why is this going to be great? Well, first of all, the child that spells out the script on the touch screen, as it's there, is going to get an award, is going to get clapping and celebration. And so uh, the child is going to spell out the words. Now, as they do, the, la the, 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 the name for the letter, as they're spelling out T, T, ta, T, ta. I, I, tiger, I, I. And it's interactive, and the more they press, the more they hear it. Now, the next level in this one word is that they can speak it, tiger. Now, when their uh, pronunciation is fully accurate, 
each letter that's success, let's say they go igger, the T is red, the other words are green with a little check mark, a little sparkle, in a way that's absolutely visual. No lectures, no comments, nothing. Just a pathway of success. Why is this important? Again, doubling a family's income. Now, what are the games? Like, what are the awards? What are the awards that someone could win? Maybe it's choice. And maybe the algorithm learns that what someone really likes is choice. So the higher they get in the success of that word, the the uh, my pizza's ready. Uh, the higher, the more choices there are. Uh, maybe it's uh, praise or affirmation in one's own language. So you're learning the words all in English, but depending on what language you're speaking, you have someone speak a word of affirmation. Uh, maybe it's a new feature. Uh, maybe it's a choice to pick your next word as opposed to it being automatic. Maybe it's just the competition, the level, you know, the, how high you're doing relative, you know, if you're doing first level, second level, third level, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, maybe it's the ability to play another little game that's an intelligence game that's actually tuned to refresh. So how does this get funded? Um, well, first of all, it's, it's incredibly uh, efficient and intelligent for any government to fund uh, this kind of learning. However, uh, I believe that the best way to fund it initially to get traction is to build it offer it, offer it in terms of the statistics of impact, you know, learn English and your family doubles. This is a family that where this daughter learns English, this is a family where she doesn't. Uh, this is a house with a family that learns English, this is a house that doesn't. How can you see that your child learns English? It's easy, download this free app. Now once the app is downloaded, you then can measure and the app can track your child now speaks 300 words of fluent English. How does the app know that? Because all the letters were green. They can spell them. And now, and see, the app can now track this to say, okay, your, your daughter can now speak 300 words of English. They can spell 200 words of English. And when we write this word, she can speak 50 words of English. And it can work on that cohesion, the integrity of being able to translate the symbol into a sound, the sound into the symbol, the writing, uh, and to be able to speak the letters of the alphabet. See, and we're literally about 300 hours away from a good app being able to do this across the world. Now, once it's up and running and in, in large-scale use, how much does it cost? A dollar? We're talking about a hundred baht um, a month, you know, for this kind of level of learning, and it becomes ubiquitous. You can sponsor a family to learn, knowing that that dollar a month is going to double that uh, family's income make books and scientific papers and stuff available through that individual into the language and into the culture of that country. It's, it's an exciting idea uh, worth acting on. What can you do? One, uh, pull together a volunteer group of software writers. Uh, two, uh, fund a test protocol uh, I would guess it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $11,000 to get a test protocol. This is, of course, very, very inexpensive. Um, and 
test it out to see how quickly people learn a limited selection of words using this methodology. Then the next uh, level, of course, is to you know just take this to a whole no another level. All right, thanks for watching and doing your part.